my name is Anna Tenbenzel. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today doing this leak code problem set, doing question number 60, and I don't know why it's not here, but we did this solution in Python on the 14th um, while I was out of town. So let's go ahead and show you how I did. For my runtime, I beat 75% of users, and for my memory, I beat 57% of users who use Python. So I feel pretty confident about this solution, and this is my solution. You guys are more than welcome to read this question on your own time, and I definitely recommend you do because it is very difficult. It took me a lot longer than it should have, but without further ado, I wanted to jump in on how I solved this problem. So basically, the whole summary of this, how I approached this, was this code that I needed to write needed to calculate the kth permutations of numbers from 0 to 1 uh, using factorials and digit manipulation. So we basically, in this particular thing, we just calculate the next digit and add to the permutation until all of the digits are used. So I started here with this def factorial num. Um, this just defines the helper function called factorial, and it calculates the factorial of a given number, in this case, num, um, and it uses a, recurs a recursion to calculate um, the factorial. So if num is 0 or 1, um, it returns 1, the base case. Otherwise, it recursively multi multiplies num by the factorial num minus 1. Um, we then get into the down here this um, digits equals list, which is just a li uh, creating a list that's called digits containing the number um, the numbers from one to n as strings. And this list basically just represents the available digits that can be used in those permutations. Um, and then for this k minus equal to one, we just decrement k by one. Um, and then this adjustment is made because the permutations are usually zero based while k is one based. Um, and then we have a empty list that we initialized called results, which will just store those digits um, of the kth permutation. We then jump into this loop here. And inside of this loop, um, we iterate n down to one, which is inclusive using a step of minus one. So that just calculates the factorial of i minus one using the factorial function. And essentially what it'll do is assign the variable fact, and this value is then repre uh, represents a number of these permutations um, possible for the remaining digits. And then we also then calculate the index, which is index, uh, of the di next digit to be added to the result. So we just do this by dividing k and by, by fact, uh, which determines how many complete cycles um, of the remaining digits we have completed. Um, we then update k with, you know, by taking that kind of remainder and dividing it by fact. Um, and that just represents the position within the current cycle of permutations. And then we retrieve from the we re retrieve the digit from the digits list and calculate the index, which removes it from the list, just so we can make sure that that digit is only used once. Um, and then it appends the result it appends it to the results list, and that loop will continue until all of the digits are added to the result list, forming the kth permutation. So we finally join it together with the elements in the result list um, into a single string and return it as a kth permutation. So that is basically how I tackled this question um, and broken down kind of in this line by line uh, situation. But overall, I'm actually pretty happy with the result given the information that I had. Um, I think I would like to try doing this again because I think I could have done it a little bit differently but again that's another another video another time um, but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I have this 
uh, code in my GitHub repo, which is in the link in the video description down below. You guys are more than welcome to fork and clone, make it better, make it worse, have some fun, learn something new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.